I'll show you how to find the open rate and the click-through rate for any Infusionsoft email, including those that are sent in the campaign builder. To get started, what you'll want to do is make sure you pull the data out of Infusionsoft, and then we're going to use Google Sheets to play with the data to get uh, the open rate and the click-through rates. So to get the data out of Infusionsoft, what we'll need to do is go to our marketing report. So click on marketing and then down to reports. And then there's one called email broadcast conversion report. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to start over. And date sent. So you could do this for the year of 2015 or the year of 2014 or whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this back to like 2010, which is going to include all my data um, for emails that have been sent from Infusionsoft. So go ahead and click search. And what you'll see is there's quite a few records here. And the way that this works, just so you're familiar, Infusionsoft sends emails in batches, whether they're from the campaign builder or in an email broadcast. And sometimes when it's sent from the campaign builder, those will queue up. And so you may have a batch of one or two or three emails sent. You'll see here, this reserve your spot. Three were sent. Um, and uh, two were opened and one was clicked. So you're actually seeing some live data there, but that's only one batch. So what we're going to do is combine all of those batches using Google Sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and export all of this. Don't need all of the fields. I need just email subject and I'm going to do sent, opened, and clicked. Now you could also do opt out and bounce, but I'm going to skip that for now and just keep this a little bit more simple. And I'm going to go ahead and process that. All right, so there's the Excel sheet down here. I'm going to open up my Google Drive, and I'm going to bring this into Google Drive. And I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, in Google Sheets. All right, so now we have all of our data. And we're going to need to create a pivot table. It sounds more complicated than it really is. But what I'm going to do is rename these so that it's a little bit more, uh, it's easier to, to play with. So the, the, the pound sign, the number sign there confuses it a little bit. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And these three columns will be called sent, opened, and clicked, which makes it just a little bit easier. All right, so now that I'm in this table, my, I've selected a cell within the table. I'm going to click on data and pivot table. It's going to open a blank pivot table, but over here on the right where it says rows, I'm going to click add field and I want email subject. So that's going to separate that. So that's going to give me all of my uh, email subjects combined. Now this is where it gets a little bit more tricky, but really easy if you uh, just stick with me. If you click on values, I'm going to do a calculated field, and I'm going to call this open rate, and the formula is going to be uh, opened, which is what we called the column header, uh, divided by sent, and there we go. So that gives us some data right there. I'm going to go ahead and add one more field, calculated field, we'll call this CTR or click through rate. And this is going to be clicked. Divided by opened. Um, looks like it dropped this one, but I'm going to go back and just do this. So this is my opened rate. And again, this was number of opened divided by sent. So you can kind of see we're just doing some basic math here. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it at that just to kind of keep things a little bit more simple. As you can see, you're just using some basic, basic math to run um, some calculated fields here. All right, so the next thing is, let me drag this up so it's a little bit easier. So open rate and then click through rate. You can see it's kind of confusing, but I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these 
decimals and I'm going to convert it to or format to a percent and drop that. There we go. All right, so I have some where, you know, it wasn't, um, you know, there weren't very many cents or there was just one or two cent. So this is as clean as I'm going to get it, but I can also start to add, you know, more columns that would say, you know, only show me emails where 50 had been sent uh, or where more than 100 had been sent. Um, if you start playing with some of these numbers a little bit, uh, and that's definitely doable if you add another value uh, to these to these rows. So what you'll see here is uh, like the happy birthday emails are doing really well. Um, Fusionsoft naming conventions, obviously people are really interested in that. So you can kind of see what's going on uh, within your data a little bit. So that should get you everything you need. And if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment below. But uh, look forward to hearing from you and good luck.